Welcome back to today's video and as you can see by the title we are doing something for a little bit of relaxation a little bit of winding down because this time of year is obviously very stressful for a lot of people we have Christmas coming up it's cold the weather's miserable if you're in the west northern hemisphere that is and it's just a little bit grim and a lot of pressure put on people as well for having like the perfect Christmas now if you can sew and you have someone in your life who you want to show how much they mean to you and want to take a little bit, a few things off their plate. I think sewing like a relaxation, treat yourself little bundle. If you package it up really nicely in like a like, beautiful box and have like a few other treats and gifts in it, like some tea and some chocolates and biscuits or whatever their favorites are, I think this would make an absolutely wonderful gift so thoughtful and just really fun to make and honestly i think i would love to make this for myself um but i don't think you get as much joy making it for yourself as it being gifted to you so we're just kicking off with our first pattern which is the eye mask by tilly and the buttons and it has it's a free pattern these are all free and she has a few tutorial and she has a youtube video what more can you ask for a nice relaxing eye mask, put some nice eye cream on, put your eye mask on and chill out and listen to your favourite audiobook. I don't know about you but downstairs in our house is all tiles or wood so it is cold, not gonna lie it is freezing and um, the slippers I have the inserts have like absolutely fallen to pieces um, so I really do need to either make some new inserts or make some new slippers and these ones from Pearl Soho just look so easy to make so fun and they're stacked felt slippers and i don't even think it'll take like that like they don't look hard to make and they don't look like they use that many materials and because it's felt you don't have any like four edges to finish off or like haven't used any binding so these look really fun and i think just having like a couple of pairs even if like people come over and look it's really cold in here just whack on some slippers absolutely wonderful and Again, full tutorial. Coming up next is a spa headband and this is by Made from Mermaids. And what I love about this is the fact that it's adjustable. Like you can have different sizes, um, depending on how big your head is. Now, if you're taking your makeup off at the end of the day and your hair, it just gets in the way. It's super irritating, so annoying. And even if you put your makeup on, like you put your lip gloss on or your mascara on and you just get hairs, they just get through your eyelashes or your lips and you're like, oh, that's so irritating. This, I think, absolutely wonderful. Or like you're applying your face mask. And I will make one of these because um, it's something that is definitely missing from, from my kitchen. From my kitchen? From my bathroom. And along with let's, let's clean our faces is reusable makeup wipes. Now these are from my Golden Thimble. Honestly, you don't really need a tutorial for these. Um, you just need a bit of... Um, terry toweling some french oops you need some toweling material but get some soft stuff and then you just need some nice uh, pattern fabric sew them together leave a wee bit of a gap turn it right sides out and now you're done and dusted i used some bamboo um, fabric i think a couple of years ago now and they are starting to fall to pieces so i am due a new set but I would use a soft French terry this time instead of the bamboo stuff because I think towel in material lasts way, way, way longer. But yeah, like I wear makeup when I film videos and uh, I need to take my makeup off basically. Number five is a hair wrap. If you don't have one of these, where have you been? They are amazing. I have a really old one and it's actually the elastic fallen off now. I really need to fix it. This is a DIY towel hair wrap and this is from my Golden Thimble as well and this is a really easy make like if you've got like a meter of like French Terry or you've got an old towel like and then you think oh I don't know what to do with this make a towel wrap it's so easy you jump out of the shower of the bath you wrap your hair in it you clip it up at the back and you're sorted and then you can like go around your the rest of your evening routine while your hair is like nicely drying. Number six is a heated neck wrap and this one is made with buckwheat and lavender and i do have a load of lavender that means using actually and this is from nourish and nettle this is created living and delicious eating that says eating so i do have 
a rice neck wrap because I did my neck in like at the start of the year before we got our amazing new pillows and um, my son has it now and it's just it's so warm just stick it in the microwave and it's just so cozy and just gives a little bit of relief especially like if you're really not wanting Number seven is a colour block cosmetic bag sewing tutorial and I like these because they look super fun, just super fun, it's the only reason I include them and I just think having like lots of little cosmetic bags you can't really go wrong as like a gift for someone and even if they don't want it themselves they can then re-gift it, it's a handmade product, it's going to be beautiful and even just organising your cosmetics, if you don't want like tons of like plastic boxes, which I've tried having like little storage compartments, it all just gets mixed in together. So like if I could just put like my palettes in one little bag and say like my lip products in another and I'd just be like, oh, I'll just grab my bag and this is what's in it. And yeah, I just thought the idea of using really bright contrasting blocks, absolutely fantastic and really just last two now. This is number eight. This I just thought was adorable. Like if you're making it look like a little hamper for someone and you put all these like little handmade thoughtful gifts in and I think I love flowers but they die. Obviously. This is inevitable. I have loads of um, succulents which they don't die. Um, my aloe vera plant really is just it, it, it's entering its own universe at this point. It will not die. Um, so I think making like a little bouquet of felt flowers is one really creative two like helps you like you can make different flowers so you're not going to get bored like if you lose focus really quickly like i do being able to make different flowers and then the color combinations are just unlimited really and then you get to go like felt shopping like let's go buy lots of different bits of felts this is by polka dot chairs and she's got a really lovely um tutorial that you can follow along with and um, you will need some um, wire and some hot glue as well and last but not least is to go along with your perfect relaxing at home spa evening is a new robe i don't think you can go wrong with bath robes i have a summer robe um and i have my thick black fluffy winter robe um my mum bought me that because i used to dye my hair a lot when i was younger and she's like at least you won't be able to see the hair dye in it even though you've covered the bathroom with hair dye very sorry uh, and I still have it I must be like 10 12 years old at this point um but then I've seen like all the pretty robes you can make and just how much different like variations there are like my one's um just like a polyester I think it's like fluffy but like if you make one in like a really thick terry toweling like you would just get out the bath shower and put your hair up and then just throw on your towel you don't even have to your robe and you don't even have to put a towel on like it will just absorb all the water so hey i'm now dry and cozy at the same time so that is that is my very quick spa day evening recommendations and i think if you gift this to someone it would just be the most amazing thing ever especially if you're gifting it to like your mom or your grandma like someone you know has like maybe been a wee bit stressed not having the best time and then like throw in some like bath salts um you could like even if you're multi crafty you can crochet a little soap bag like we have down in the shower and we just put soap in amazing game changer we don't mean we don't use shower gel anymore so we also reduce our plastic consumption so we're winning on that front yeah i just think this would be absolutely amazing and i think i want to slowly start i have a load of scrap so many scrap fabrics and i think especially like my christmas fabrics like a whole drawer my drawer of shame and yeah so i think doing that in like a really christmasy themed on like maybe christmas eve once like everyone's in bed you're sat downstairs with your beverage of choice watching for me it'd be the muppet christmas carol like i watch it every christmas eve every year without fail and just being able to have a really relaxing evening just sounds absolutely divine I hope you've liked this video and I will see you in the next one.